What's up, y'all? How y'all doing this morning? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Got the babies out here to school. Making coffee, waiting on it to percolate. Very quiet and tranquil morning. Went without an issue. No fussing, no fighting. Arguing over the bathrooms. It just flowed. Energy just flowed. Uh, the mantra that you're hearing in the background. This is uh from the Mahakata. Uh, yeah, the Mahakata meditation mantras here on YouTube. And this is actually a Lord Ganesha mantra. It's called the uh, Vakratunda Mahakaya. It removes obstacles. Mm -hmm. It's very calm and it's soothing. I'm a little nasally. My allergies acting up this morning. So was my baby girls. Yeah, there's bad allergies. So... <laughs> If I get a little nasally, excuse me, please. I did get some downloads this morning. And like I said, when them downloads come, it's like a bat to the face. See, last night when I was in my sleep state, I was visited. And I was taken to a place. Somebody's home. An older man, African American, Black American, if that's what you prefer to be called. And I'm standing outside this house. And I can see in through these bay windows. Man, I don't know. It was crazy. It was quite an, an experience, but did this man pass away? Could possibly be older gentleman. But like I said, I'm looking through these windows. I see this big circle bronze mirror. Almost resembles the sun. And from a distance, I can see pictures on the wall. So, fly on into the house. And I was urged to look at all these pictures of this family on this wall. But there's one that stuck out. This man with these two little boys. Was this man an avid fisherman hat collector? Because he had on a boat hat. In this picture with these two little boys. Couldn't remember if it was green, white, or red. Then I was taken to his bedroom on the bed. He had some nice old wooden antique furniture. And on his bed, it was a pile of boat hats, fisherman hats. Just collected like somebody piled them on the bed to be donated to charity. Bed was neatly made. The room was pristine. Stood out was the antique wood furniture. So this was an older man. Somewhere between 35, almost 50. Got something about bash fishing. He liked to fish for bass, catfish, and sturgeon. Did he transition in a boating accident? Some behind one of them pictures he needs someone to see. <laughs> Kept pointing me to the pictures on the wall. Something behind the picture. And being urged to look behind these pictures. I don't know who that's for. That's for somebody. I was a little nervous saying it because I'm like spirit so I'm doing mediumship now 
could have been who it was that visited me yesterday during the video and just waited just waited for him so I was done with my day but I kept getting intuitive hits about water and fish and boats and accidents Hmm. Also, I, I had to write this down. It's a few things. A few downloads I got. Also, something about Lemuria. I don't know. Kept popping up in my feeds. Somebody's into aquatic magic. Water dotties. Like I said, fishing hobbies. Catfishing. Heavy catfishing energy. Watch out for that, child. Hmm. Somebody is also an oceanographer. Somebody studying, studying the megalodon. My son loves the megalodon. He also loves dinosaurs. Also, I mentioned something about the Galactic Federation. They're here on YouTube. I have a channel. I don't know why they kept kept popping up in my feeds as well. I'm not really into, you know, beings from outer space. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know they exist, but you know that's not my niche. Stay in my own lane. Also, thank you, spirit. Also, something about Palladians. Once again, I don't know what that's about. Maybe that's something for one of y'all to check out. Somebody can also be mm, an inspiring astrologer. Studying the stars, studying planetary alignment, NATO charts. Leave minds alone. Also, I got somebody is trying to get into the study of demonology. And you don't know where to start. I got some for you. Start with the hierarchy of demons. Hammers of witches. Solomon magic. And the lesser keys of Gorsha. You can buy the books. And download the audio. So, you know, you can be hands free. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. Now they say when you sneeze, it's a spirit close or a spirit didn't ran past you. I don't know how true that is. My allergies are acting up. Yesterday, one of my readings I also posted to safeguard your children. Mm -hmm. Apparently, we got in a. Uh, a serial flasher out here like flashing themselves to children I'm gonna flash they self to the wrong person off duty cop and there'll be no more of that that's gonna be done for might get his ass beat but you know I hope so I also heard something about voyeurism I ain't going into that y'all nasty no thank you also, the Hopi Indian predictions. Something I'm going to look up. Because I got that too. Morning inspiration about being humble. I'm not going to go into it. I didn't come here to preach. But I will give you the uh, the chapters to go to. Second Chronicles 714. Also, 714 is an angel number. It's for somebody out there to go look up. Also, somebody is constantly getting attacked. Hell, yeah, we all are getting attacked. But some is not handling it as well as others. I got something for that. Psalms 27, 91, 18, 46, 37, 35. You also can... Go on YouTube 
and click on Psalms Sleep Meditation, try sleeping in the Word. That'll help combat some of those spiritual attacks. Also, those numbers could be a code to something. Or it could be winning numbers. Good luck, y'all. I don't gamble. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. From the downloads that I got. So, I hope y'all receive those in light and love. Who wants some quick picks? My car is getting stiff. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Damn, this keep coming out. 535. So if somebody's seeing 535, pay attention to it. There's something in that for you. Gotta go a little deeper on that number. Empress. Nine three nine. Now give y'all a bonus. See you flip over. I'm at you. Let me make sure y'all can see this. 555 change necessary change divine time very significant embrace it embrace the changes can't run from it you can't get away from it you can't go under or over it it is what it is go with the flow the more you resist the painful, more painful it'll be. Could be for everybody. Could just be for one specific purpose. That's it. Okay. 227. The angel number 227 brings a message of faith, trust, and self-belief. Step forward on your life path with confidence and grace, as you are here to make a positive difference in the world. And the best way to achieve that is by being true to yourself and following your promptings and your intuitions and inner truths. Maintain a positive perspective and outlook. And through a spiritual law of attraction, you will, man you will manifest positive results, rewards, and blessings. Keep up the good work. Spirit. Thank you. 535, reoccurring number. Maybe this could be the reoccurring theme every morning. This popping up. Who knows? Just got to see. Hmm. Angel number 535 asks you to trust that the choices and decisions you have made are the right ones for you. Even ideal situations require adjustments as you move forward. But you can trust that the angels are always with you, gently guiding you along the way. Make the most of your natural abilities and talents and ensure that you do it in ways that reflects who you truly are. Rely upon your communicative skills and creative skills and abilities. And allow yourself to keep an open mind, open heart as to changes that are currently taking place in your life. Trust your highest ideas will be accepted. I say spirit, thank you. Female card number 
saw three cardinals and a, a brown cardinal this morning in my backyard. So I saw two emperors and an empress. I don't know what that's about. That could be for somebody. Somebody having to decide or having the option between two emperors. Congratulations. Hey, <laughs> I like them odds. <laughs> Hopefully they're emperors in the upright. Use your discernment. Hmm. I also heard something else, but I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna go there. Could, yes, I am. Two emperors be fussing over you. Somebody is fussing over. Two emperors is fussing over an empress. Hmm. How interesting. Significance. Cardinal symbolism and meaning. Spirit animal totem and power animal. The cardinal is a creature commonly associated with an exuberance for life, delight, and good cheer. Indeed, even if this song of even if the song is cheer, sounds as if the bird is urging you to find happiness. Brown cardinal represents family ties, nurturing energies, feminine energies, and the heart, heart chakra, and unconditional love. Hmm. I'm going to have to redo that. Because I just got something else for this, too. I want to add on. See a female cardinal bird. It's a representation of your heart chakra. Could be a connection to Mother Gaia. Spring is coming up. Could be about seeds being planted are now starting to come into fruition. It's starting to sprout up. Metaphorically and literally speaking. Somebody needs to work more on their motherly nature. Somebody could be kind of harsh. I also saw a woman being really harsh to a little girl because she's she wanted a boy but she got a girl father's not in the picture so you be real harsh on your baby girl need to work on that ma'am people wonder why how wonder why and how narcissists and people with narcissistic tendencies are created. It usually stems from childhood, but you know, I'm not a psychologist. Just going off our own personal experience. Unconditional love. People need to really understand the meaning of what unconditional love is. My mama always said, people say I love you all the time. A love ain't nothing but a misunderstanding between two fools. Never understood that growing up. I figured it out now. Because to unconditionally love somebody, you got to be a damn fool. But that's, another, that's a story for another time. Nine thirty nine significance. Angel number 939 signifies that you have the opportunity to recreate yourself and step up to become someone great in the community. Besides, you can rise above your limits if you allow for your positive change and positive attitude to drive you. More so, you have to work as a champion and organize your work as a real leader. Angel number 939 is a message for you to let go of any situations in your life that are no longer serving a positive purpose. Push aside limiting beliefs and hold back in a way and take hold you push back push aside limiting beliefs that hold you back in any way and take control of what you wish to make of your life. Dang, I almost lost brain cells reading it. Sheesh. Some uh, projections. Or it could just be I need some coffee. Who knows? Either or. 939. Angel number. Somebody out there. Also 714. 212. Significance. 
212 says, your persistence in trying to keep your independence will soon bring long-weighted results in the form of banknotes. Your sociability, flexibilities, and non-standard standard thinking will be in trend, and someone will be willing to pay good money for your presence on the team. Try not to give way here, too. Otherwise, the most valuable quality of your, of your nature will be lost forever. Angel number 212 signifies trust and love, mostly partnerships and confidants. So if you're in a situation where you're torn between whether to let go or resolve, and you keep seeing the number 212 everywhere you go, do not be tormented. You know what to do. I say spirit. Bonus round. Hmm. 555, significance. Angel number 555 tells of a significant and necessary change happening in your life that you have been divinely inspired and guided toward. These changes will bring about long-awaited circumstances and results that will fully align you with your true divine life purpose and soul mission. Angel number 555 is a message from your angels that it is time to let go of the old that is no longer serving serving you positively trust that they will be replaced with much better release old doubts fears and perceived obstacles mm. and if you're feeling any fears of confusion ask for support and guidance from your angels and the divine most high god and ancestors i say spirit thank you very much i hope you receive these messages in light and love Good luck to anybody playing them numbers. I hope the favor I hope the odds is in your favor. Send me twenty dollars. <laughs> well they say let me boy twenty dollars. Let me hold two fifty. <laughs> I'm just playing. Oh my goodness. Mm. Y'all have a good morning. I'll holler at y'all later, probably in the afternoon or later on this evening. Bye y'all.